Hey y'all, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? And today I'm about to show you guys how to watercolor the beautiful orange ginger hair that you guys have seen on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and the thumbnail and all that good stuff. So this hair is from Arabella Hair. This is the cute little pink box they gave me. It came with some goodies, an edge brush, wig cap, a headband, and they also gave me a clip. How cute. And this is the wig. It's 14 inches. The color is 613 blonde. And it came in a nice little packaging. Now, the lace construction was um, really well. It had three clips in the front, one clip in the back, and a adjustable strap. The hairline was plucked pretty much well. Didn't have that much parting space, though. It was about four inches middle part, and the side part you could probably do about three inches. And now I'm just about to fill this pot up with some hot water. So now into the colors that I used. I used cinnamon and Cajun spice. I believe I used one bottle of each. So now I'm just stirring the color in, making sure there's no chunks, and I do advise you to get something to stir because that water is hot, and my hand just wasn't doing the job. So I had to go get something else, so I did use a comb, I guess, to basically blend it in, make sure there's no chunks of dye, no strings of dye, make sure everything's blended in with the water because that's how you're going to get the best result, and you don't want splotches on your hair. So now that that's done, I'm about to use the Got To Be Spray to spray the lace. You don't want the color or the dye to seep through the lace, damage the lace, stain the lace or anything. So Got To Be Spray is kind of like a bonding that makes sure that the color won't seep through. So now I'm just going to dip the hair in and out. I'm gonna kind of going to do the washboard method that you see in old movies or whatever. I'm just going to go in and out, dipping the hair, making sure that it is covering each strand. And then I'm going to make sure there's no traces of blonde on the inside, spread the hair apart, and do the same process over and over. so here's the color of the hair when i first did it now i kind of wasn't that amazed with the color i kind of wanted more of a orange ginger tone so I did have another bottle of hair dye. I had French cognac, and that is what I'm about to add. I'm just going to wring out the hair, place it on the side. Then I'm going to add a full bottle of French cognac, and this is just going to give me more of an orangish copper tone and kind of brighten up the browns that are in the hair. Come 
So now I'm about to do the same thing. Go ahead and keep dipping the hair in the new color, letting it all absorb the new color. And then I'm just gonna leave it in there for about five minutes. So here's the color. I think it came out very pretty. It gave me more of an orange color. I was very satisfied with it. And now I'm just going to blow dry the hair. I've gotten this nice cute hair color. And if you guys want to see more about it, then go ahead and check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. They're going to be in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this watercolor method video. Very quick and easy. It's too late.